Good Monday afternoon to you. I'm Mark Hazelwood, sports editor, Sandusky Register, and we are at the Thirsty Pony in Sandusky near the Cedar Point Causeway. Uh, I am joined by a what I will call legendary mm. local Indians fan, uh, 26-year-old Giorgio Sortino um, from Norwalk, but living in Sandusky. Mm -hmm. And just a little quick background, uh, Giorgio, you call me, we'll say what, five, six times a night on average for about the past ooh, six, seven years, give or take. Uh, so we talk literally every single day, all hours of the day, I'll add. And uh, I just wanted to visit with Giorgio in person to talk about the Cleveland Indians who will play game one of the World Series against the Chicago Cubs tomorrow night, which still sounds strange to say that Indians are in the World Series. Yeah. What, was, what does it mean to you to see your team finally in the World Series? I like it. And, um, what was your favorite part when they won? The celebration um, or? Um, Ted Tana catch last out. Santana catching the last <laughs> out. Um, let's, let's go with this. So you're the only person I know, and this is a compliment, Within, get, he got it. Within minutes of the game ending last Wednesday, you said, what about the DH? Because there's no DH. Forget celebrating. We need to figure out who's going to play the field in Chicago because the pitcher has to bat in a National League park. So Mike Napoli, Carlos Santana, somebody has to sit. And you're very curious to this. And... I'm going to say Napoli has to play because he has better defense. My question to you is, how is Terry going to manage his bullpen? Because they're going to have to bat late in the game. So if you want to leave Andrew Miller in the game, he has to bat. Are you okay with that? Yeah. Why? I don't know. <laughs> That's my favorite answer you ever give me. How about this? Cavs at 7.30 get their championship rings. Indians play in the World Series at 8.15. Yeah. 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. Thanks mm. for that correction. Mm. Mm. Um, what is it exactly you're looking forward to the most tomorrow? Indians, Cavs, both. I hope we do get in the bat hat, go in and, and kick a Cock about the game one and what move on time. You know, the rest of the country is rooting for the Cubs. They haven't won the World Series in 108 years. Cleveland, it's been 68 years. Do you like the fact that the Indians are big underdogs and that no one expects them to win outside of here? Could league win all star game. Okay. Good. Right, remember that? Do you know who the winning pitcher was in the All-Star game? Kubo. Corey Kluber. Kubo. Who's pitching tomorrow night? Kobe Corey Kobe. Kluber. Uh, mm. I know another one of your questions was who starts games two and three, correct? So you have Josh Tomlin mm -hmm. and Trevor Bauer. Who would you like to see start game two? I will have no league team. Bauer before, before, has a finger issue. Before Gosari. Before Bauer, mm -hmm. Bauer had your Nashville Park hit last time before Indian, yes. or time had it. Bauer has a little more experience. However, remember, he cut his finger. Do you want him to go up there with a bat in his I hand? Game two. And game get two. hit. So we're going to start Trevor Bauer game two in Tom your eyes. Tom game three, Kluber game four. Tom one game three. You want Kluber on short rest game I four. know. How about we do this? How about we start Ryan Merritt and then bring in Danny Salazar in the fifth inning and see if he can throw a couple innings and get to the bullpen. Yeah. Okay. So Sal's here, your brother. Uh, I, I do have to share a quick story. This summer you were watching a game at home with Sal and the Indians were challenging a replay, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And Sal had the nerve to turn the channel <laughs> while they were protesting this call. You immediately called me up and said, 
you need to call him out on Twitter and embarrass him so he'll turn the channel back. Mm. Did he? I know. Yeah, I don't remember either. So, what can we say about the Indians' chances overall in your eyes? Like, Are they the underdog? I like when two at home, okay. one in Cochran, okay. and shut Cubby down. Game six. So you I have. Game six. So you call. Okay. So he's calling it Indians in six games. Um, I have to admit, I don't know if I'm as optimistic as you. I think if the Indians win, it's going the distance. Uh, I, I, I worry about them playing in the National League with no DH, with their bullpen guys having to bat. Um, Going to be a crazy atmosphere in Chicago. Those, they're, they've been waiting a long time for this. You know, another quick story about Giorgio is it doesn't matter if the Indians are in first or last. You will call me up and start crunching scenarios about what they can do. I remember one year the Indians were in last place. And you called me for a month straight saying how many games do they have to win so they don't finish in last. Do you remember that? Yeah. I don't I choose not to remember that because those were bad times. So hell, welcome to this welcome to the set. <laughs> See that? that? That's a game changer right there. <laughs> Sal, what can you tell me about your brother and his Indians fandom? Oh, it's about as, he's about as big as a fan as you can be. Mm. Um, typically, uh, we have to work our schedules, our lunch, dinner, and work schedules around uh, the tribe games and when they're going to be on TV and you know when the pregame starts, when the postgame ends, that's that's when uh, that's when we get to do everything else. So uh, between those times, that's all. It's all tribe. Mm. How much does he keep you on your toes? Because like I said, you know he, he's calling me within seconds of a championship oh, clinch, yeah. already wanting to know what's next, what's next. Every, everybody, he lets he keeps everybody on their toes. I think. Uh, because of Giorgio, a lot of more people in the city know what's going on with Indians. So I don't think a lot of people would know as much if it wasn't for him because he keeps everybody, you know, with it. Yeah. Now, they've been bad for, you know, I want to say bad, but up and down for the better part of 20 years since they last made the World Series. Uh, what does this mean to you and your family? Obviously, you know, the basketball team in Cleveland won the championship. They get the rings tomorrow night. The Indians are in the World Series. We won't talk about the football team, but what does that mean to you to, to have this going on right now, given yeah, the yeah. fandom? It's, it's, it's incredible, you know. We're all happy, but we're especially happy for this guy because it's what he lives for. So we're especially excited for him. So. Do you have anything else to add? Um, anything at all? Any concerns for the Indians this series? Um, Tell him what you've been saying. What's he, he has a concern. Um, Terry, hard job, hard job, hard job. What's so, so for Terry Francona has a hard job. They wait, they four, they five. In the Pick National him. League. We're, yeah. we're, we're real concerned has with he the... Has mentioned that? With <laughs> he has mentioned that. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're going to have to play Mike Napoli, I think, because he's a better defender than Santana. Hey, listen, you quick breath. You like cook for him. <laughs> yeah. We're oh, just yeah. calling the shots here. Why not? Uh, I think, you know... I, I will, you know what, I do want to close with one more Giorgio memory. Two years ago, the Indians were chasing the wild card, okay? And it was late, he was asking for the newspaper, the register, to run the wild card standings in May, <laughs> which there aren't wild card standings in May. Then he was asking for them in June and July, and literally nobody else on the planet tracks the wild card standings before, we'll say, August. Yeah. And so I went on a vacation in early August, and Giorgio here called the newspaper while I wasn't there, even though nine times out of ten he refuses to talk to anybody else besides me, and said, will you please run the wild card standings tomorrow? <laughs> and my coworker, Sarah Baker, said, now you know, Mark said, no wild card standings till Labor Day. And Giorgio said, Mark's not here. 
He's in Cincinnati. You run wild card standings tomorrow. Devious. The devious one. Well, Giorgio, uh, we love you. We're excited for the tribe. We're, I think I'm more excited for you than anybody. So with that, go Indians. Let, let, let's, have a, let, let's have a good week and go tribe. And with that, we sign off from the Thirsty Pony.